Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play Clash Royale, obviously, for free, in 2021 on PC. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, but first, before we hop into this video, guys, I want to give a big, big shout out to Austin CR. I'm going to leave his channel link in the description. Um, Really nice intro he has. He does Clash Royale content as well, and... uh. I like the song that he uses in his intro, and it's non-copyright free, so, hey, I'm gonna try it out too, I've been using it for a while now, and I got it from him a long time ago, so, I just wanna give a quick shout out to his channel, go check him out, and drop him a sub, he'd greatly appreciate it, so yeah, I'll catch you guys in the video, peace. Alright, so as you guys can see here, I have my desktop pulled up on the main monitor. And all you guys gotta do is go to Google and then just type in BlueStacks right here. This is BlueStacks. Type in BlueStacks download. It should be the first, second link. I'm not gonna really leave the link in the description because it's like all of them are like all of them, all the links will download it pretty much. And uh, yeah, just download it to your desktop. <clears throat> you know, obviously whatever drive you want to download it to. Then you're just gonna open BlueStacks. Basically, all it is, it's like an Android on your computer. Basically, just a um, Google Play if you've ever had like an Android. It's basically just the Google Play Store. So yeah, it's gonna bring you up here, and then you have Google Play Store. You just go in your Google Play Store, and it's literally just an Android from here on out. Just you know, use your mouse to click. Okay, it's like being really slow right now. Use your mouse to click and use your um, you know, uh uh. uh keyboard to types yeah i'm just click click play here obviously in home you have all the apps i have call of duty mobile among us instagram boom beach clash clans and clash rail all downloaded on here go ahead and close out of this and yeah here we have the clash screen so i'm gonna go ahead full screen this as well and it's basically like you know you're on a uh you're on your phone now on your computer so it's kind of freaking dope brother um so yeah that's how you play um clash royale on pc just like i said go to your web browser um type in blue stacks i'm like i said I'm not gonna really leave a download link because it should be fairly simple to uh download and yeah once you get there just go ahead and um yeah download it and download it on the google play yeah also i forgot to say once you get blue stacks you're gonna have to go uh i think google play is already on there you're gonna have to go into the google play store and then actually download clash Royale from there so it's gonna take extra storage but it should be fine it's really not that much um so yeah to finish out the video i'm 10 and 2 in the um goblin drill draft challenge so i guess we'll go ahead and finish this up win or lose and uh I'll end the video off here, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, as you guys can see, I'm level 12, um, I'm actually gonna be doing a lot more Clash Royale on the channel now, and just to see how it works out, so if you guys wanna, you know, what, you know, get free Clash Royale content, you know, I'm not, like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna throw this out there, I'm not the best player, I'm just a content creator, so yeah, uh, if you guys wanna watch me though, hey, drop a like on this video, also a sub would really help me a lot, and it if you guys change your mind later on and don't want to sub anymore, you can always unsub. Um, that's why it's there. So, yeah. Um, I think people take subscriptions too seriously. It's really just a, um, you know, a way to watch videos you like. It's not like anything serious. You can always unsubscribe whenever you want to. Um, but yeah, where am I? Okay. Wanted to upgrade my Elite Barbs and then go ahead and use my... Um, book of commons on the elite barbs again so i'm gonna do that get those bad boys to max whenever we get the chance uh it's like a hundred thousand gold i think so yeah gonna take a while um the only thing i have to do, i do have to say about playing on computer i'd still prefer phone um the only thing i prefer about computer is on blue stacks like if you hit okay f11 on your keyboard you can go here um game controls and you can actually ch oh you can't see wait can you see it no, you can't see. Okay. It's basically you hit F11 on the side of your screen. It'll pull up game controls. And you can basically change your keybinds to whatever you want. 
Um, the other thing I do have to say is it's a little bit slower since you are on a mouse. You can't just tap the screen. You actually have to um, use your mouse and drag the cards out. So what you can do actually is you can drag the cards out like this with your mouse. You can see them my pointer right here. Or you can earn my cursor. Or you can actually, what I'm doing right now is using w, um, ASDF for the row like this with my keyboard, my keys. And all you have to do is just click where you want it at that point if you already have the card selected or you can just click on the card drop it. you know whatever just the regular whatever you want to do but i prefer just using the key binds and then just dropping the cards off that way i don't usually misplace on accident or anything it's a lot easier to play so um this is this deck's kind of weird i'm just gonna okay that was bad i didn't i forgot he had in front of dragon <laughs> um i was just gonna Okay, I think we lose this game instantly. Pretty much. Okay, he's already saying good game, so whatever. Good fireball. That fireball value, though, G. Uh, I think that's tower pretty much dead for me, so. Yeah, uh, can't really do... Plus, I was talking, wasn't concentrated in the start, but can't really do much uh, against this dude. Honestly, he kind of has hard counter. I mean, it's draft, so you can't really expect much. Um, I wanted to play counter pressure in that lane. That's why I split equal. Uh, I'll probably just wait. Uh, E, uh, probably E was this and get away with it, honestly. About to go into double. Yeah, but pretty much a waste of an E was, but I don't want to waste fireball or anything. Yeah, I just have like no air counters in this deck other than E was. This match would have been a lot easier if I would have just took Inferno Dragon, but I'm actually going to play Night Witch with a Royal G this time, so the Inferno Dragon just can't completely obliterate me at least, so yeah. He already knows what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and fireball this when we get the chance. No, we'll fireball the Sparkies, or not the, I mean the Zappies, uh... Um, e Wills will get a lot of value here. Yeah, we pretty much lose this matchup. Nothing we can really do. I do have the battle pass, so we can always just play again at least. <laughs> That's the plus side of it. Ooh, that prediction fireball, though. Okay, I like that. I kind of... Okay, that prince didn't even charge. In. Okay. Yeah, it's a good game. I mean, I could obviously, yeah, I could have played a lot better. But, I mean, I was talking, so I couldn't focus up, really. And like I said, the only downside of the playing on computer is you kind of misplace your cards, and you can't place them as fast as you would like sometimes. Sometimes, so, um, yeah, sorry if I sound really tired or I'm, like, freaking burping a lot. It's because it's, like, 6 in the morning right now. I'm very, very tired, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, just going to do some Clash Royale content, see how it honestly goes. I know a lot of people are enjoying the game right now with all the new balance changes and everything. And a couple people have been saying on my streams they want to see Clash Royale again. So I was like, shoot, I mean, you guys want to see it? Might as well make some videos, try it out, right? So, um, I'll be doing live streams on Clash Royale as well. So if you guys do do uh, decide to subscribe to the channel, you guys will see some of the streams. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. I misplaced the musky there. Actually, kind of works out for us, honestly, to give a split lane counter push. Um, so I'm not really too mad about it. She'll get value. So, um, was it four hits? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I don't really know what this guy's doing here. So, I don't really know how to defend the uh, drill yet. Well, um, so yeah, it's fine. See, that princess was just very slow, but. Yeah, the Ram Rider is going to get a lot of value for us this matchup, which is really, really nice. That tower's almost dead already, just with a musky and a Ram Rider, so really nice. And Princess, obviously, just... Yo, appreciate the reset on that Princess, my guy. Um, Yeah, he just helped us out a lot there, and she's going to get more damage on tower. Wow, Princess, uh, he had to just play a drill on the Princess. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny dude yeah the princess gets insane value um in pretty much every matchup especially in draft because it's not really log bait um 
decks, so they can't really, you know, unless they have log, and, you know, that's basically what they're going to be using it on, so, wow, he just played a, okay, um, I kind of don't know what this guy's doing anymore, he just played a, this dude really just played a, um, a, a, a elixir pump, um, okay, <laughs> in front of a ram rider, okay, hey, I mean, if that's what you gotta do to block damage, that's what you gotta do, so, you know, I'll play a musky here, um, there's really no great, uh, E-Giant's kinda broken in draft, cause it's not the easiest card to defend, but as you can see, we cleaned it up pretty nicely there, honestly, I'm gonna actually support this golem, this tower is definitely gonna go down, um, look at the princess value though, oh my goodness, double stack princesses, that tower's down, I'm gonna just golem again, wow, this is just beam at this point, um, not gonna spam any emotes, that's just mad disrespectful, wow, yeah, um, we just had a hard counter there, honestly, I don't think he was the best player either, but, I don't have any room to talk, so, yeah, good game there, brother, and, uh, we'll be putting an X on your, uh, challenge there, so hopefully you have the battle pass. Don't think you do, but, hey, if I just shut that dude out, let me know, brother, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I would just honestly all, almost always take Inferno Tower and, uh, E-Giant in this, uh, challenge, because really it's just such a hard card to defend when you don't have you know obviously the right deck for it when it's in meta and everything oh oh okay that was a really honestly that would have been a really nice play i gotta give it to him dude oh i did not know they actually spawned that fast okay inferno tower kind of a weird placement honestly but i mean if it works it works um that hog is yeah, I would never give hog to your opponent in anything. I mean, look at that, bro. The tower's already... Oh my gosh, the tower's basically already dead. Like, never give your opponent hog. That's just a really weird play, in my opinion. I would never do that. Um, Does that E-Wiz... Okay, or not E-Wiz, but... Yeah, Rascal Girls are broken now. We forgot about this, boys. Um, Yeah, I meant to say... E-Spirit, you know... Um, is he gonna do the same play again? No, he's not. I'm just honestly gonna let it burn out, play a fire spirit on it. Should be fine. And look at that. Fire spirit cleans up very nicely. Earthquake this for any... Okay. I was just gonna, you know, try to predict something there, but he didn't play anything. Honestly, what I say, I say we split archers back, go hog. He's gonna... He's gonna royal G any time now, so... We'll have that Inferno ready if needed. Um, I would do an... I'll do an E-Spear, too. At Bridge. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, what? That didn't hit... Okay. That's whatever. I thought that would surely hit the Rascal Girls, but okay. Um, I'm just gonna go Minion Horde on this. Clean that up. Fire Spirit on these girls. Oh, I forgot Fire Spirit doesn't kill. Oh my gosh. The the buff is huge, you guys. The buff is insane on this. Okay, he's going to have to fireball the... Uh, oh my goodness, these minions. Minions getting absolute value this matchup. He's going to have to fireball the minions. What is that? Earthquake. Oh my goodness, this Earthquake providing us with tons of value, honestly. We didn't really need it just because... E Giant really honestly is broken and clears everything. You know, I was really shocked when they put E Giant in the game because he's really just not even fair. I mean, the guy is just an absolute tank, and every time you try to counter him, like this poor dude's trying to do right now, you know, everything dies. Look at this poor dude. <laughs> he has no idea. So we're gonna try to three crown him. Hopefully, you know, he doesn't take our tower first. I don't think he. Yeah. Just. GG, bro. GG. Just GG. That's all I gotta say. Um, yeah. E-Giant pretty broken in these draft challenges. I would never give your opponent Inferno Tower or E-Giant. And, hey, we got the emote. So, kind of nice. Um, 
I know I was really late on this challenge. I just started playing Clash Royale this season again. Just bought the pass like yesterday. So yeah. Uh, probably work on this Royal Tournament maybe on a live stream. We'll see. But yeah, pretty much that's how you get Clash Royale on PC. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Jumping in, I don't care what happens I've done enough, I don't need more practice All the kids trying to cut my fashion